Well, I see you didn't get the message last time. Well, I'll be keeping an eye on you, that's for sure. Hello, officer. Welcome to our humble police house. You must be damn can stupid if you, you think you can come back here. <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit, but it's going to cost you $100 in fees. Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run, and uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen, but I'll give you a permit for 50 Okay, well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen and unusual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. What's your problem? What's in your crawl, huh? Mm. Ah, hello, friend! Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, ah. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh... Subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. together wonderfully. The final piece of the puzzle.
That's a nice looking horse you have there. Bet it ain't faster than mine, though. Ariel's my pride and joy. How about we head to the veteran's homestead? Come on! No. Yep.
special treat for you. Goddamn government cat, Paul. This is uh, very kind of you. <laughs> You're coming with me. Take me to Day of Cork, then! <laughs> this ain't America! We ain't free no more! <clears throat> Can't break. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sounds like sour grapes. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail, either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in hell are you talking about? Lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Oh. Your death's gonna be an uh, important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What in hell are you saying, mister? This professor. Andrew Bell the third, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this damn professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you to kill you. You mean? <clears throat> no. Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system got something to do with moonshine. I don't quite know what. <laughs> I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? You ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared and there was smoke in the air, smell of burning hair. No. There must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned. Half like the skin was ripped off. No! Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, well, I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But, no, sir. It was light. The electricity does something all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I see lightning do. But, you know, 
Hank. This electricity professor's got a plan for you? Ah, that must be of an entirely different kind. <laughs> Sorry about that, McDaniels. You all right? <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, me too. Well, you'll be happy to know we ain't got far to go. Hold on tight now. Professor will be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no! Here, I got him. You're wonderful. Come on, <sighs> don't be shy now. Let's go. <clears throat> oh, lay him over here. Now, where's my money? Um, money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well, once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um, our poor unfortunate ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along. Okay, fella. 